So I posted a, a recent video on how to image the aorta. Today, I would be imaging the common iliac arteries. We know that the aorta splits into the right and left common iliac artery. And our common iliac artery for the splits into the external iliac artery and your internal iliac artery. Your internal iliac artery is also known as your hypogastric artery. So when would you have to image the common iliac artery? For example, you're scanning a patient's right leg. You notice monophasic or biphasic waveforms in the common femoral artery. Right away, you have to go a little higher up the patient's belly, which includes looking at the external iliac artery and also the common iliac artery for any possible mild, moderate, or significant disease. So today I have a young model with me. And um, when you're looking at the common iliac artery, I always start at the groin. Reason is because I can image my external iliac artery and I can slowly rock my probe up towards a belly button like as you can see me doing. And as I rock the probe up, I can image the external iliac, the internal iliac, and I can get up to the umbilicus and at that point see my common iliac arteries and also the distal aorta. So we're going to go back to the screen here. And I have my color box currently on. I'm going to take that off for a second. And so right at the groin, in black and white, I can see my external iliac vein and my external iliac artery. I'm going to put color on that. And you can see again your vein and your artery. As I wrap the probe up, as I showed you earlier, you're going to see the internal iliac artery in this image, also known as your hypogastric artery. Again, I'm going to rock the probe up again towards the belly button, and I'm going to see the common iliac artery. Again, as I rock the probe up, a little bit of movement at this point. Again, pushing, because you have to push the gas out the way. I have my common iliac artery, and at this point, I can see my distal aorta at that segment. So I'm going to start with dopplerin, the common iliac artery, at the proximal segment. I'm going to turn my color game down a little bit. So we're going to start with a pulse wave doppler of the proximal common iliac artery and you can see the proximal nice and triphasic I'm going to freeze that and then I'm going to unfreeze again and I'm going to update my image here and I'm going to slowly move into the distal segment and again i'm rocking my probe to try to keep it as parallel as possible as i image this vessel so that's my distal segment of my common iliac artery all right and i'm going to again come out of that image here i'm going to come out of pulse and at this point you can see the internal iliac artery right at that image but that's okay, I'm going to go ahead and bypass that. If I do, I can also get a waveform of that. And I'm going to slowly just follow this vessel all the way down to the groin. And I'm following it all the way down to the groin at this point. And at this point as well, I can also Doppler the external iliac artery. Um, you can see the bladder moving in in that view. But again, you can see at this point the external iliac artery. And I'm going to again rock my probe back up to a belly button. You can get, again, an external iliac artery. You can actually get a waveform of the external iliac artery, again, nice and parallel. And again, I'm going to try my best to rock my probe so I can keep it parallel to the vessel. And you can see what I just did there to improve the angle on my image. And improving the angle also means improving my waveform as well. Um, so I can get an external iliac artery imaging right on that view. I'm going to come out of pulse again. As you can see, back to the groin, external iliac artery. And I'm going, rocking the probe towards the, towards the patient's head. I can see the hypogastric artery pulsating there. And then I can slowly rock the probe. I can see my common iliac artery and into my distal aorta. So that's it for today on how to image the common iliac arteries. Um, if you need, again, to um, get further information on what we did today, you can pick up my book here. It's on Amazon, and it's also on www.divinescanning.com shop. 
I also have a physics um, formula review book, and that's just a new, a small little book um, that goes over the physics formula and also basic things you need to know for the SPI exam. All right, and this is also available on divinescanning.com/shop. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great day.